Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back again and I'm gonna show you a super easy way on how to make a bootable USB drive for your favorite Mac OS operating system. Uh, it can be Mac OS High Sierra or the new Mac OS Mojave. Now, I tried to download this Mac OS Mojave for my MacBook Pro here. I have an older version, a Mac 2011 MacBook here. You'll see right here, it's running Mac OS Sierra and it's on a MacBook Pro 2011 but uh, it's not allowing me to download the Mac OS Mojave because this is an older uh, MacBook Pro, I guess. So uh, I'm not gonna do it for Mac OS Mojave, but I will do it for Mac OS High Sierra because a month ago I was able to go into this app store and I downloaded the Mac OS High Sierra onto this uh, laptop. So I'm gonna make that bootable drive right now and I'll show you how to do it. This is an easy, simple way how to create it. Now I had a previous video on how to create a bootable USB drive, but this video will show you how to quickly and more easily create one. This is what you need a USB drive and mine has 32 gigabytes on it. Make sure that your drive has at least five gigabytes available on it, five gigabytes or more. Okay, so after you download your operating system, uh, close this up and then go to Finder right here because you're gonna go into your applications folder. And once you're in your applications folder, scroll down to the eyes and you'll see install Mac OS High Sierra or it will say install Mac OS Mojave, whatever you download, right? And here's the thing to look for. Make sure that the size is a five gigabyte file or more. It might download another installer, which is a smaller file. And you want to make sure that it's five gigabytes or greater. And that is the actual install file. I had this problem with Hi Sierra for my iMac desktop and it downloaded a smaller file. I think it was like three megabyte file. And when I ran that file, it started downloading another file. And you can't make a bootable drive with that. It needs to have this large file. All right, so next you can just plug in your USB drive into your uh, laptop or computer. Once that's plugged in, it's gonna read it and you'll see my drive showed up right here. It's called No Name. Uh, what I like to do is to rename this by clicking on it and I just call it my USB or you can leave it as no name as well it doesn't matter okay once you have your operating system file here go to a web browser and search for this program it's called disk maker and once you use this program it is super simple to make a bootable USB drive out of it You'll see right here, it says Mac OS Mojave compatible, but I use this to make a bootable disk for my Mac OS High Sierra as well. So go ahead and scroll down and download this version here. So once you download that file, go to your downloaded file. All right, so open up Disk Maker by double clicking on it. And then it's telling me to drag this Disk Maker into my applications folder. So I'm gonna hold this and drag it into here. So now that program is in my applications folder. So close that up. Now I'm gonna to go to my applications folder and look for Disk Maker X right here. Now double click on this program to run it. So right away it tried to find a Mac OS installation file. Um, and I, I'm thinking it's trying to find Mojave so it's and it's allowing me to select another operating system so i'm going to select mac os installation app here and i'm going to find my application and then right here install mac os high sierra i'm going to choose that one and now it's asking me for my usb drive and it's telling me it's going to erase it um, i'm going to do this option right here that's going to erase everything from the, this usb drive so if you have important information on it i would remove it before doing this so I'm going to click on that and right here it found my USB. That's the one I'm going to use to install the operating system on. So choose this disk. It's warning me again. It's going to erase everything from the disk. I'm going to erase it. And next, this thing right here, uh, it's going to ask me for a password if it needs the right to do it. Because um, uh, you notice when you boot up your laptop or computer and if you have a password before you enter in there, that's the administrator password. So you need that password to continue. So right here is prompting me for a password to do this because you need administrator rights to do it. If you log into your computer and you have to enter in a password before you log in, make sure you um, 
log in as an administrator and you have that password to do this. If you're logging in as a guest, then you can't do it. You need an administrator rights to do it. Uh, if you don't have a password before you boot up your computer, then there's no password on it and it'll probably just do it anyways. But I put a password on mine, so I'm gonna enter that right now. And here you go. Install Mac OS High Sierra. This was my USB drive and it put the operating system on it. So now this is a bootable USB disk for Mac OS High Sierra. And you can do this with Mac OS Mojave as well. So all I have to do now is restart this computer, hold down the options key, and it's gonna boot up into this USB drive. So I rebooted my computer with the USB drive inside and I'm holding down the options key. And you'll see right here, see it's saying install Mac OS High Sierra. That's my USB drive right here. So I can select that to now reinstall the operating system or to install a new one. And you should also choose your Wi-Fi network here to make sure that it might need to download anything that it needs. So I would connect to your um, Wi-Fi network to make sure that everything works. And that is the quickest way to create a bootable drive for your favorite Mac OS operating system. I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.